Hello, seventh grade band members. Your assignment for today is to create your own rhythm chart that you can always refer to when you need it. So you're gonna get your piece of paper and your pencil. You're gonna draw three different sections. So we can make our chart, three different sections. And then we're going to title each section. Okay, so you're drawing those three sections have a line at the top to title. So the first one is going to be the actual rhythm and the counts. So we're gonna write rhythm counts at the top of the first column. Make sure you're spelling rhythm correctly, R-H-Y-T-H-M, rhythm, rhythm counts. Then the next one is going to be ties. We're gonna show the same rhythm with ties. So write ties at the top of the middle one. Okay, and the last one, this is kind of fun. We're gonna say fruit names. It's a little weird, but you'll see what I mean in just a little bit, fruit names in the last column. So rhythm counts, ties, fruit names. So let's draw our rhythms now, all the rhythms that we've been working on recently. So the first rhythm, I want you to put our two eighth notes beam together two eighth notes beam together. Remember, that's an eighth note and that's an eighth note. So there's two of them beam together. Make sure you didn't accidentally draw four, two eighth notes. Underneath our eighth notes, remember this column is also for the count. So you're drawing the rhythm of this col column and then the count. So we count it one and. And remember we use the plus sign as the word and instead of writing out the word and. One and. One and. Okay, so then ties. So in this middle section, we are showing what it would look like as our subdivision, a 16th note. So I want you to draw four 16th notes. Make sure you put two beams because for 16th notes, you need four be uh, two beams and then there's four stems and note heads. So if we were to add ties in here, where would we add them so it would sound like one and? Because right now this is one e and a one E and a, right? But where would we put the ties to make it sound like one and? So I'm gonna write my one E and a, one E and a, and I know I'm tonguing on the one and I'm tonguing on the and. So I'm gonna hold through the E, put a tie there, hold through the uh. So guess what? This with the ties is the same as this, one E. And so within that one is also an E, you're just holding through it. Within that and is also an a, uh, you're just holding through it. We call that subdividing, hearing those smaller beats within the larger beats. And now we need a fruit name, a fruit name that matches the syllables and sound of one and, so you can remember how each rhythm sounds. So I chose apple, two syllables, two sounds, one and, apple. Then I'm gonna draw a line to separate it for our next rhythm, okay? So our next rhythm is an eighth note and two sixteenth notes. All right, I'll draw my little note heads. We say one and a. So write the counts underneath, one and a. Draw your four sixteenth notes in your next column. Write one e and a. Figure out where does the tie go to make it sound like one and a. Well, I know the eighth note's longer and it's happening first, so that means I need to put the tie first. One and a is the same. So here's our fruit name for that, strawberry, because you hold out the straw longer and that first note is longer because an eighth note is longer than two sixteenth notes. Strawberry, one and a, same thing. All right, let's do another one. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start with the two 16th notes and then draw an eighth note. Start with the two 16th notes, then draw the eighth note. And that is one E and, one E and, write that underneath. Then draw your four 16th notes in the next column. Let's figure out where that tie goes. I'm writing one E and a. So I say one, I say E, so I know the tie doesn't go there, and then it says and, but I don't see the uh. So it must mean it's tying through the uh. One E and, one E and, oh, 
holding through the ah. Uh. So let's see a fruit name that starts with two quick sounds and then a long sound. So let's do cantaloupe. 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 Short, short, long. One E and. That works. And now we're going to do our last one. Now we're going to do a dotted eighth, sixteenth rhythm. Looks like that. Dotted eighth, sixteenth. And we count it one up. Uh. One up. Uh. So let's draw our four sixteenth notes, figure out where that tie goes. I know I'm saying the one, and I'm not saying until uh. So that means I have to tie not just two, but three sixteenth notes together. One E and uh. You're holding all the way through to the and and then playing on the uh. So this eighth note's even longer because there's a dot next to it. One uh. So let's think of a two syllable fruit name where you hold out the first part a little longer. So it kind of works orange. One uh orange. So here's all our rhythms, one and, one and, a, one e and, one a. Uh. Or the fruit names, apple, strawberry, cantaloupe, orange. So there's your rhythm chart that you should have completed. Take a picture of it and then submit that as your assignment for full credit. Thanks.